below them can't do the job. Women are portrayed as weaker. Um, do we have a woman president yet? <laughs> so today I'm out here and the question I'll be asking is, is the gender pay gap real? All right. What's up, guys? Man, this is going to be interesting today. So we're going to be reacting to this video by Jen and they're asking the question about pay gap. Is it real? And great thing about this is he's already done a lot of research and data so that people like myself don't have to. So I appreciate you, sir. Uh, but welcome back to the Black Box, guys. It is going to be an amazing episode here today. I am Samuel Smiley. Let's get into it. Is the gender pay gap real? Yes, it is. Men get paid more for whatever they do and uh, women get less for doing the same amount. Totally agree with that. <laughs> that guy already, you know, speaking in generalities, he's like, yeah, you know, whatever they do and blah, blah, blah. And his wife, wife or girlfriend's like, yeah, what did he said? It's like, guys, he's not coming with any facts. This guy's just trying to make sure this woman's happy, <laughs> which I don't blame him. But you can be honest. Let's keep it going people forget about the pay gap. There are certain jobs that men do that women do not do. Honestly, I, I think it depends on the industry. Yeah, I'm a physical therapist. The ratio between male and female is about equal. So, and I don't really see a difference. That's awesome. So right there, first off, I'm just proud of these men for, we need about 10,000. I take it back. We need a hundred thousand. I take it back. We need a million men who are brave as these men on camera, mic'd up, speaking the truth and saying, guys, we're not working the same jobs. I come from an IT background and a uh, real estate background. There's a few real estate developers. It's a very risky thing. It's something that I want to do. There's many nurses that are women, but there's a few real estate developers that are female. You know why? Because that's not their interest. And that's okay. But there is a few that I know of that are, and that's great. They love it. They, they understand it. They hustle. It's hard. But let's not get it twisted. If you're going to be a school teacher and I decide to go work my butt off, mind, mind you, it's everybody's working their butt off, but it's you get paid for the service that you're providing to the world. So if you're, if you're an engineer, software engineer, and you're providing an amazing service that a company and people are willing to pay a certain amount of money for, you can't blame or look at what you're doing and go, oh, I should make the same as that engineer, but I'm a school teacher. Or I should make the same as that engineer and I'm, you know, whatever, whatever the job is, it has to match the service that you're providing. So I just think that's really awesome that those guys are even brave enough to go, hey, we're not doing the same jobs. And we haven't even gotten to when people, you know, when, um, when mothers have kids and have to take time off of work and all these things are conflated into these numbers. So... Let's keep going, but this is really good. When there's higher roles, it typically is given to men. Hold on, hold on. Is it that it's given to men? That First off, that's a shocking statement. It's like, hold on. I don't think I've ever been given a role. I apply for a position. I work hard to get promoted. I'm not given it, right? I work hard for it. So that's first off. Second off, it's like, how many people want to be a CEO? And then how many people actually understand what it takes to be a CEO? It is not an easy job to be a CTO, CFO, COO, or CEO, or any type of managerial type of position. It is extremely stressful. So how many people are really wanting all of that on their plate? Not many. And that's why when people actually, when females actually want to go into these roles, if they have that tenacity and nature about them, then go for it. But you're not going to find a bunch of people who are just like, oh, you know what? I'm going to be a CEO tomorrow. And that's what I that's my dream. I want to be stressed out and have, you know, 10 to 60,000 employees I'm responsible for and to all these shareholders. No, that's not the average guys. So come on, stop it. Women are more interested in people. But also if you're a girl who happens to be interested in things, then you're probably going to make the same amount of money. Wouldn't the gender pay gap in your instance be explained based on individual choice and the industries that they choose? It's individual choice that is building a system around this. Men and women are different. It is based a lot on the choices and how would you spend your time. If you work hard, you can be whatever you want. Let's stop there. That is so, 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 so true. It's about what are you interested in? Again, I said earlier, it's like if my girlfriend was in IT, 
Man, that'd be nice. But if she was in IT, <laughs> we're both making that much more money, especially if she's has a really good career in it and has a lot of experience and has bargained her way when it comes to uh, uh, getting that job. That's great for me. But it's like, listen to, listen to what he said. He's like, there is nothing limiting us today besides self-belief. Um, and there's a couple of circumstances where people are born into really bad situations. But for the most part, if you want to be an engineer, a software engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, um, an entrepreneur, you name it, 2023, 2024, 2025, there is really no excuse for you. Like, it's only because of your self-limiting belief, but th- there is no system against it. It's a, it, now, there may be personality traits. You're just like, I'm just not interested in that. And that comes at a cost. Like, everything doesn't pay the same. It's okay. Let's keep getting into it. Um, do we have a woman president yet? No. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. But what do you think that has to do with like the pay gap? There's highly opinionated male energy. We have been deprived of our abilities to express world peace. What are some rights that men have that like women don't then? Oh, that's a really... Oh yeah, that's a really, that's a really good question. I didn't think about that because I'm not trying to put a valid argument together. <laughs> like, we haven't had, let me tell you something. Saying we haven't had a woman president is like saying we haven't had a black president. It doesn't mean anything. First off, Obama was biracial, but no one ever admits that his mom was white. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. and I'm not going to get into it right now, uh, but he's mixed. But anyway, it's like, guys, just because you've had, we've had a white president or a black president, males, does not mean that just because you have a woman president that all of a sudden, oh, everything's fine. We have one president. If you're qualified for the job and really want the job, then there's still going to be major barriers for you to cross. But just because it's always these high, you know, it's like a trend. There's always this high position. It's like, well, look how many CEOs are women. Look how many business owners are women. Look how many billionaires are men. It's always the same type of thing. And it's like, why is, what is this? Uh, infatuation with these high positions. No one wants to be, you know, a fireman because that job sucks and they still get paid pretty good and it's an honorable job. You don't see a bunch of women going, hey, you know, I want to be a police officer or hey, you know, I want to be in the military. There's a couple, but why aren't these, why aren't these the jobs that are talked about? It's because people don't want those jobs. Women don't want those jobs. They're dangerous. They're risky. They're hard. They're really tough. So what sounds good is driving in a nice luxury vehicle on your way to a corporate job where you're in power. But that's not the way this life works, guys. Men are working in all spheres, all spheres spheres of uh, employment. I think you should do the same. And I think you'll see the difference, but I don't think it will be, it'll ever be even there because it's not supposed to be because we're different. We have, we have different interests. Let's keep going though. The same position of power. Do you work like a job at the moment? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Got it. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I just feel like, you know, they're in position of power in there and I, and I've seen it happen. Oh, who, who have you seen it happen from? My mom, my mom told me, Oh yeah. What happened to her? She told me it happened. Like, uh, This woman does not have a job, but she's talking about, I don't don't even know how she, why she even joined the conversation. (laughs) Let's keep going. (laughs) Looking at other friends and other industries and then knowing what they're making in comparison to what their peers are making. It's real. Got it. Literally guys, I have a friend, former coworker of mine who was working the same job as me, a male. I was making $5,000 more a year than this person. He lived in a more expensive state. He had certain experiences that I didn't have. The difference was negotiating. I decided I was coming in and I wanted 90. And they was like, okay, we'll get you at 85. He was making 80. No big deal. But if he had decided in the interview, you know, 80 was good for him. What am I supposed to do about that? That's not what I wanted. There's differences in the pay. It's not all fair. It's not, it's, that's not really important. The company has a certain amount of money they're going to pay you. And based on your skill set, based on how much money they bring in and income wise, and then uh, you're negotiating. That's what it factors down to. It's pretty simple stuff. What do we want? Yeah. 
So it's become an accepted reality amongst most that women make around 82 cents to a dollar compared to men. It's very important what he just said there. He said it's become an accepted reality. Not that it's a fact, not that it's based on numbers, not that it's scientifically, mathematically proven. It's just been accepted as reality, not meaning it's true, guys. It's just been accepted as reality because of all the talking heads on media and news and politics. Make sure women earn pay that's equal to their efforts. And despite potential flaws in the study, there's been undeniable progress made by women as 40% of women now make more than the median male compared to just 13% 40 years ago. But with incidents like the US women's soccer team's lawsuit for equal pay, tensions surrounding gender and inequality are higher than ever. We've filled stadiums, we've broken viewing records, and yet despite all of this, we're still paid less than our male counterparts. Considering conflicting studies on both sides, it's important we explore the nuance not only individually, but on a societal and global level. But in today's lack of nuance, is it considered sexist to even question commonly held truths? And more importantly, is equality even achievable or something we even want? I guess we gon' see. So let's say that if the pay gap does exist, right, and that the employers can get away with paying women less, wouldn't more jobs want to hire more women then? Men, especially men in power, think that women below them can't do the job as well. So that's one of the reasons they do get paid less. They want men to fill those roles because they want the men to go up in power. It's, again, trusting a men's word over women's. As a woman, you have to do more to prove that you deserve it more. Have you personally experienced discrimination when it comes to pay because of your gender? Yeah, definitely. Me asking for a raise would definitely impact me staying there compared to other people there. All of this should be predicated on skill. I'm a woman, you're a man, and we go for the same job. We should both get the same opportunity because I'm starting to see now people are not getting jobs because companies, they have to fill those jobs so that it looks good on their end. So, quota. Yeah, the quota. Case by case, it all depends. That is so real. People will literally be like, oh, we hired the first female for this just because they want publicity it's not because they're skilled for it now it's not saying that they're not but it's like how many people did you overlook to get a little fake achievement you don't really care but the ceos would do this because it looks good it's like oh this looks good on my social credit score this looks fantastic i'm a good citizen but the truth is it should be based on your skill set your work history and then at the end, like the lady just said, she says, oh, well, you know, I that's a personal situation where she's not willing or capable of being able to speak to, hey, you know what? I want a promotion. I want, want to make more money. I've had multiple numerous jobs where there are other skillful, more skilled people on the job than me. And I still will say, hey, you know, where I want to be with in life and what I feel like I bring to the team and blah, blah, blah. I I, I, I want to make more. It's a conversation you have to be willing to have because no one's going to fight for you. I don't care about the excuses that they're giving here. It's just the real world, guys. No one is looking at their employee deck and going, hmm, you know, I haven't heard from Susan in a while. I should contact her and tell her I want to give her a 5% raise. That's not, <laughs> it's not going to happen. I'm not just going to reach in my pocket and just give you free money or just give you more money when you have not brought it to my attention that you want more money. But when I have done that and say, hey, throughout the year, I'm sprinkling the idea on my bosses. Hey, I want to make more. Hey, I want to make more. Hey, I want to make more. Guess what happens? They find a way to make sure I make more when that year end review comes. So that's my suggestion to you. Do the same. Do you think there are some industries where women are paid more than men? I don't really know. I guess like maybe like one that comes to mind is like perhaps modeling. Modeling, that's a tricky industry because it comes up to the status of the model. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's a trick. This is a tricky industry because it depends on the status of the model. What about engineering? What about lawyers? What about real estate developers? What about basketball players? There's a reason. But as soon as we talk about models, everything makes sense. Let's keep it going. Kendall Jenner, because of her status, she is going to be getting paid a lot more. Modeling, you have skinny models and you have overweight models. You really don't see men overweight models. Women have way more opportunities than men. And so it's evident that the gender pay gap exists, but what's not really discussed is that it's for both genders. There you go. Ready to go. I'm set. 
Female models on average earn two to three times more than male models. And it becomes even more towards the top. Listen guys, I think we've heard enough. The truth is when you go down to it, it is obvious. And I've been following models for a while. I've never seen the success that women have with modeling for men. But you don't see us with pitchforks and big poster signs saying it's not fair. Where are the male models uh, march at? Jeez, I need to get, I need to make that happen. It, it's phony. It's based on emotion. There are certain discrepancies, but a lot of it has to do with what you do. So thanks for joining, guys. I'll link the video here where you can watch it later. But, you know, I think we, we all kind of get the picture here. So thanks again for joining the Black Box. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video so that a friend can check it out and to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Other than that, God bless you guys. Love you. Later.